Good morning, Acacia family. It is Friday morning, TGIF. We get to thank God that it's every day, but this Friday in particular seems pretty special. Hey, I just finished doing Sweat into the Oldies with Richard Simmons and could not wait to share today's update with you. Um, we did say that today was a spirit wear day, sports spirit wear, and since most sports have been canceled, I decided to wear my favorite combat juggling jersey. So if you want to look that up, it's a pretty amazing sport. Um, for those of you on Corona Beard Watch, um, I think it grew maybe another micrometer last night. Continues to be more salt than pepper. And the itch factor is hovering around a 7 or an 8. It's pretty itchy. All right, this will be our ninth remote learning day. Today is a very important milestone. We will, we will complete the first remote learning packet today and get to turn it in. So please finish those things up. Finish strong for us. Uh, bring them to the school today between 3 and 5 o'clock. This is authorized essential travel, according to the governor. So bring that by, drop it in the front door. Uh, I'll have a container there to receive it, and um, we'll disinfect it and get it to the teachers so they can start the grading work. I am very, very proud of our Acacia family. None of us expected this adversity, but adversity did come in a very big way. And by God's grace, we are pressing on. And in many ways, we're thriving and we are very blessed. So I am grateful. Announcements. We have a spring break coming up. After today, you will officially be on a two-week spring break. But I do have a challenge for you. Don't waste these two weeks. Don't whine. Don't complain. Be creative. Be wise. Be kind. Okay? Uh, create something brilliant. Look for ways to help others. Read a great book and take your mind on, on an amazing adventure. Okay? Enjoy this time. The Hoshas, we're going to go on an Amazon vacation. Uh, each child gets a small budget to buy a craft or a game or something they can share with the family. It'll be delivered right to our door, and then we're going to have a bunch of fun with it. So you might try that experiment if you want to. I will continue to read and publish chapters of the Chronicles of Narnia um, for those who are interested in a little daily story time break. And then I'll send out a couple of updates throughout the break just to keep you connected with the latest news and what our, our plans are. Um, so we have another two-week countdown to start, but I want you to have fun. I want you to enjoy your family time. Again, don't waste it. Uh, give God the glory every day. Please mark April 13th on your calendars. On this day, we will plan to celebrate Easter in, in some special and safe way around 10 o'clock in the morning, and we will get you your next remote learning packet. If we uh, go with the May 1st date that the governor has set out there, we still have about three more weeks of remote learning, so we're going to make it our very, very best. Um, and we will get you more details as the date approaches. Birthdays. Today is Emma Matthews' birthday. So Emma, I made you a special balloon. Look at that. Aren't you beautiful? Happy birthday to you. You even have a nice little ponytail on top. Hey, we're so thankful for you, Emma. You are a miracle from God, and we want to celebrate your life today. So everybody, if you get a chance to send Emma a little electronic card or a birthday wish, please do that. And uh, hopefully the next time we're together, Emma, I can give you a magic carpet ride or the school will, okay? Verse of the day. We're still in Luke chapter 4, and it's just been amazing to me how the words of Jesus have hit us where we needed to be hit in this week. <clears throat> so I'll be reading in Luke chapter 4, starting in verse 38. Jesus left the synagogue and went to the home of Simon. Now Simon's mother-in-law was suffering from a high fever, and they asked Jesus to help her. So he bent over her and rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up at once and began to wait on them. At sunset, the people brought to Jesus all who had various kinds of sickness, and laying his hands on each one, he healed them. Moreover, demons came out of many people, shouting, You are the Son of God! But he rebuked them and would not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Messiah. At daybreak, break, Jesus went out to a solitary place. The people were looking for him, and when they came where he was, they tried to keep him from leaving them. But he said, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other towns also, because that is why I was sent. And he kept on preaching in the synagogues of Judea. Today, the verses are again about Jesus, but about his healing, retreating, and proclaiming his purpose. The awesome son of God can heal illnesses and chase away demons. And look how he started his new day. He went to a solitary place. He wasn't even quarantined. He chose to go to a solitary place. He chose those quiet times to be still, to commune with the Father, to prepare for the challenges that were ahead. I'm so intrigued by the fact that Jesus is sharing this treasure of solitude with us in a special way right now. 
Jesus proclaims his purpose was to proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God. Now he relies on us to do the same. So please enjoy your solitary place for the next few weeks. Get rested, get ready, get prepared to proclaim the good news because that's what we were made for. All right, you made it to the end again. Um, I will send out a Chronicles of Narnia chapter again, but here come your jokes of the day. Here we go. What starts with E ends with E and has only one letter in it. What starts with E and ends with E and has only one letter in it. It's a special word. It's envelope. Good stuff. One last one. Why did the cow cross the road? Why did the cow cross the road? To get to the other side. And I will see you on the other side of spring break. Make it your masterpiece. Y'all are loved and appreciated. And God we trust. See you later.